You know, you want to move the traps. What's up, Kate? How's it going? You want to move the traps near your base. And I'm going to tell you why. It'll serve two purposes. What's up, my immune friends? This is kj 4 e and welcome back to my Let's Play for Missed Survival. Today, we are going to be working around the base. We're going to be setting up some things for future episodes, but today is mainly going to be focused 100% around small animal traps. Now, are these working? I don't know, um, but we're going to give it a shot. Um, before this update, these 100% did not work. They worked when the game first came out, then they got broken, and they never got fixed. At least, I don't. they haven't gotten fixed up until this point. I don't know if they work in this update, so we're going to give it a shot today. Also, you can see I've been doing some organizing here. Um, one of the major concerns people have with this Let's Play is it is unorganized, and I could not agree more. Um, it takes a lot of time, though, to get stuff organized, so I'm trying to find some time, guys, but... You know, it's pretty It's pretty tough. Um, I have a lot of logs lying around, and I want to put the logs to good use. And the way I could put the logs to good use is the wall. But I'm not going to build the wall. History in this game has taught me, do not build the wall surrounding your base until your base on the inside is, is somewhat complete. All right? Now, it's almost complete. Right here, we have our crafting station house. All right? This is going to be all for crafting. Okay? And this one over here is going to be... Uh, it's the farm, obviously. Uh, this right here is going to be Scott's house. This is Rachel's house. Now we just need a house for Kate. A house for me? Me? I'll probably stay in the barn. I don't really need a house. We're kind of we're kind of getting a little crazy on room here. Um, and I want to I want to make Kate a big house. Well, not a big house, but a bigger than regular house. I'm thinking hunting cabin B because Kate is the sniper soldier killer, and I don't want to get on her bad side. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to I, I could. Maybe, but actually, that looks pretty good right there, right? I think that looks pretty good right there. Some people have been asking me, why don't I move the water over towards the farm? Um, eh, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could Maybe I could start parking the vehicle right here. The reason I parked the, the water, what did I call it? The 300 liter water mobile? The reason I, I parked the 300 liter water mobile over here is because I wanted it out of the way. I think it's a pretty good spot for it. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about putting some, uh, some livestock fencing over here and make a little like parking spot for it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might leave it there. Maybe I'll make a little parking spot for it over here. I guess what I could do is I could make some livestock fence coming out of here and then going like this. And then I could just park it right over here. Actually, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. But the original idea was I didn't want the truck in the way, right? That's why I didn't put it near the farm. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's put this thing down. We're not going to be making this cabin today. I just want to put it down. I don't want to, like, have a situation where I have to make one of these cabins in one day's time anymore. I don't really like that. Um, what's in the back of this cabin? Yeah, that's just nothing. So I could put that right up against... I could probably put that right about there. Um, is that going to leave enough room to pull the truck into this area? It looks like it probably will be okay. Um, I think that's pretty good. I'm just trying to, kind of trying to figure out how I want to like um, do this. I mean, I could really put it right up against here. But I, I kind of don't want to. You know, that's not a bad spot for it. Is that a good spot for it? Yeah, it leaves a good amount of room back here. There's nothing back here. I mean, there's no reason I can't put it right up against the wall. Um, there's nothing back here. Uh, the entrance will be right here, which will be a really great place for an entrance. And that leaves some room for me to drive the truck up, and I can kind of pull the truck into here. Or if that doesn't work, I could always leave the opening right here, put livestock fencing on this side, livestock fencing on this side, and just leave this open for the truck for the water truck. I could do that as well. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, I might want parking spots for the water truck and my regular truck. Speaking of the regular truck, um, one of you guys gave me the cool idea to put a generator in the back of this truck and then put floodlights all around it. Um, we're not going to do that this episode, but it's something I might be playing around with in um, some future episodes. Uh, should be pretty fun. Okay. All right. So we got that bad boy down. Let's go. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to put anything into it because it just takes so freaking long. You know, it just takes so freaking long, and I don't feel like doing that right now. I think what we're going to be doing is we're going to start, we're going to, you know, build some some small traps and maybe start working on some small game. I think that'll be pretty cool. So let's come on in here, and let's grab some wood. And I think we have some, yeah, I have some extra wood in here. So we're going to grab some of that. I want to show you guys something. This is freaking hilarious, by the way. Uh, check out the firewood I have. Someone was like, stop wasting all your firewood. And I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of wasting my firewood. But, you know, I don't really think it's going to be a problem. Now, you might be thinking, Cage, 
what the hell is the matter with you? Why on God's green earth would you freaking have these people chop so much damn firewood, moron? And it would be a good question. Um, if you guys have not been following the series, you'll know what, what the answer is. I think I had this bright idea that I was going to take all my logs that were on the ground and store them in the workstation, right, as uh, already set up jobs. And then what I would do is I would never do the jobs. And then when I want those logs back, I would cancel the job. The problem is if you put 65 logs, it's not 65, I put like 20 logs into this. But if you cancel that job, you just get one log back. So instead of just throwing away all those logs, I figured I would just make it into firewood. And that is the unbelievably interesting uh, story behind me having a pile of firewood that is actually covering up the firewood pile that you used to chop it up. <sighs> yeah, you know what? I may not do things proper all the time, but you can never call these videos uninteresting. <laughs> all right, so um, let's go ahead. I think I have everything I need. No, I don't. I need um, I need components. So let's go ahead and grab some components. And then we're going to go ahead and make some animal traps. Uh, there's lots of different things you could use for the animal trap bait. Um, I think the one... You might be noticed that all my foliage is off. Uh, that's because we're going to be looking for um, blueberries um, to use as bait. Now, you can use a lot of things as bait. Actually, um, let's come on in here. I think I have some stuff in this, uh, in this storage containers that I can use as bait as well. Let's take a quick look. Turn that off. Nothing. I thought I had some stuff in here that I could use as bait. Yep, there we go. You could use cauliflower, cauliflower as bait. You could use potatoes as bait. You could do baked potatoes, but I think you get better results if you catch an animal with it. Although, again, I don't know if these traps are going to work. You know, they could be totally broken. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to put them... Uh, maybe I should make them first. I was going to go put them down, and then I was like, wait a minute. I didn't make them yet. Yeah. Yeah, so there's that. Oh, by the way, my tomatoes. Um, if you guys can let me know in the comments... Should I harvest those tomatoes? Are they ready? They don't look ready to me. Now, some of them look ready. Some of them are red. But the other ones are green. I don't think those are ready. I really don't. So, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on that. All right. So, let's come on in here. And let's go ahead and make ourselves some small animal traps. I'm just going to make... Should I make more than one? Let's make two. It's not really wasting that many resources. Um, you guys, you guys also said, and I, I'm not going to do that this episode, but I think maybe even next episode, you guys said, go out in the middle of the night in your farm, shoot off one round and watch 20 zombies come in and just kill them all. Also stop wasting, stop wasting sledgehammer, uh, durability on zombies. Just use the spear. So we will, uh, we'll try that. It won't be this video, but I'm thinking maybe next video. We'll see about that. All right. So let's come on over here and let's put these traps down and I'm not seeing any, fruit on the ground or any berries which is a bit of a problem but you know that's all right let's put this right here put that right there number three i don't think it matters where you put these or what you know which way they're facing i don't think any of that matters so i'm just going to put that one right there and i'm going to put this one over here i probably should just put them right next to each other it just makes it easier you know to check on them but yeah what else it's all good all right set up Bait. Oh, there we go. Activate trap. Okay. All right. So I think you can catch rats or rabbits with this. Oh, damn it, Cage. Why'd you pick it up, bro? Why did you pick it up, you stupid, stupid man? All right. F. All right. And then we'll put the uh, potatoes in there. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, I'm going to go around and look for berries as I... Uh, you know, get ready for nighttime. And, uh, you know, I don't like making dark videos. Although, I'm debating over whether I want to put the trucks in a position for lights. I don't think I do. I think I want to finish this before I put the trucks in a position again. This will be the last major building I make. So, I think I want to finish that before we get the trucks into their, um, what hopefully will be their permanent position. One of you guys also gave me, um, gave me uh, locations of all, like, the cars that are close to me. Which is great. Thank you very much on that. So, we'll go ahead and get some more cars at some point. Uh, let's go ahead and pick these up. There's one other thing I want to try before nighttime. One of you guys really, really wants me to use the machete on the trees. So we will go uh, we'll go use the machete on the trees. Why not? The the knife goes like breaks very quickly on the trees, so I'm hoping the machete will be a, a little bit better. Um, although I'm assuming it's probably more expensive to make, so I don't know. Let's let's try it out. Let's see what's what. And then and then I'll call it a night. I'll go uh Get a good night's sleep. A nice, well-deserved night's sleep. Okay, so let's find the nearest tree. 
All right. Oh, you get two! Wait, I got two once. And then the second time I got one. Hmm. That's one. That's one. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe... Maybe it was a... A fluke that I got two that one time. Oh, there's two. There's one. There's one. Okay, interesting. Now, does this thing last longer, I hope? 72.5, let's see. Is it quicker to... Yeah, it's quicker to look down. 72.5, 72.5, 72.5, 67. That, that seems like it's going to break pretty quick. But it does seem to be better. It's, it seems like it's going to give me more bark, which is really cool. Boy, oh boy, I just love getting attacked at night while I'm trying to build my cabin. Freaking... Freaking zombies, infected, whatever you want to call them. They have no respect. No respect. What a bunch of douchebags. Yeah, I'm out there building and they jump me, man. I didn't get killed. Thank God. I was I was kind of ready for it. And it, 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 You could take a lot more hits now than you used to be able to. Um, you know, back in the day, like if you get hit like once, you're bleeding. Like big time. So, yeah, these freaking douchebags. Um, I also forgot to water my crops. So let me do that now. See how this goes. Actually, let's water these first. Because this thing really... this Watering this thing works. See? Look at that. Right? Now, that's how watering should work. These? Yeah, not so much. Not so much. I'm just going to kind of... I don't know. I'm not really sure how to handle this. Should I assume they're watered and just move on? Should I just dump all the water in this one plot? That looks pretty watered. Kind of. Yeah, so it, it is changing colors. It's just, man. It's definitely... Definitely needs some work. Actually, that one changed colors too. All right, all right. So there we go. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit there and do like, like how many of these do you think I'd have to do? Like three or four full containers just to water that stuff? Eh, eh. I stand by my meh. All right, let's go check the uh, traps. See what's what. See what's going on over here. What is that? Oh, there's something in there. Look at that. And I picked it up like a dumbass because of course I did. I bet you I, I bet you I lost what was in there. Nope. Cool. All right. Harvest. That's awesome. So they work. They work. What did I get? It looked like a, a rat. Oh, a dead mouse. Mouse carcass you can harvest for me. Okay. So right click. Yeah. Harvest. You used to be able to like put it in here, but I, I don't really think it matters anymore. So let's go. Oh, actually, do we still have to put it in there? Harvest. Oh, you see. Okay. So when you right click and do harvest, it opens this up. Saying that you have to do that. And you need a knife for it. Because how else are you going to cut it up? Alright, so I got a couple things of small meat there. I don't think I can dry that meat, but I can always cook it. And one thing of animal fat. Alright. That is freaking cool. And we got another one right here. Oh, is he alive? Dude, he's alive. Is he alive in my inventory? No. He's dead. Dude, he looked alive in there. I, I'm pretty sure he was moving. Well, guys, the fact that these are working is phenomenal. I think I'm going to make another two. Or should I wait another day and make 100% make sure they're still going to work? I mean, they don't really take that much. Eh, I'll wait one more day. Screw it. What's, up? What's one more day in the grand scheme of things? All right, let's go ahead and cook this stuff, man. Hells yeah. Now, now we're looking good. Oh, by the way. By the way. <laughs> apparently, there's a bear. Like, really close to me. As a matter of fact, I think it was... I think the bear that people are telling me about is, like, right over there. And I think I've come across it before. Um, the bear that I go all the way over there to get is really far away. Farther than I need to go. So, next time I hunt the bear, I'm going to go over there and uh, check that bear and see what's what. By the way, these stupid infected didn't drop anything. So, F them. Freaking come in here hit me. I mean, they lowered my hit points, like, quite a bit. I was, like, you know, I was about right here. So, they, they were getting me down pretty low. And uh, on top of that, they didn't even drop anything. What a bunch of jerks. Bunch of zombie-infected jerks. We got to move this campfire downstairs, by the way, at some point. All right, I noticed something about the animal fat, and I'm sure it's the same thing with the meat. The animal fat was at, like, 0.15 kilograms, right? And the bear, the bear animal fat is at, like, 0.75, okay? So you're not... This isn't going to replace the bear, at least not as far as animal fat goes. The food... You know, that's a pretty decent amount of food. Um, eh, the food's not bad, honestly. What, what do you think that was? A quarter? It's probably a quarter of my... Eh, maybe even a little bit more. Yeah, the food's not bad, but the animal fat doesn't quite... 
you know, have the same punch. Uh, but that's that's really nice. That's really nice. We'll probably make a couple more of this. Like I said, I'll wait one more time for me to get... Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I probably won't make more of those because I need stuff to bait them with. And I have not seen a lot of blueberries. So, yeah, my bait is going to be limited. Um, I don't even know if I have anything else to bait it with, to be honest. Yeah. Well, I, you know what? I could probably bait it with tomatoes. Yeah, I could probably bait it with stuff out of the farm. Let's see if we can find some um, some blueberries. Because that would be wonderful. I mean, they, blueberries used to be everywhere. Uh, you know, back in the, you know, before this update. But they, they seem, the blueberries seem kind of rare at this point. So, it's not going to be as easy to bait the traps. Which, you know, makes sense, right? Uh, don't worry, I will turn the foliage back on at some point when I'm... When I'm done looting stuff off the ground. Because it is such a pain in the ass to find stuff on the ground without the foliage. It's ridiculous. We looted this, right? Yes, we did. Nothing there. Nothing in there. I could sure grow for some more tires. Alright, grab that. Yeah, tires would be nice. You're not going to find tires in cars. I've never seen a tire in a car. But yeah, I could definitely use some more tires. What we got over here? I hope I'm not passing blueberries. As I run around, I start forgetting about the fact that I'm out here for blueberries. And it's, it could be very easy for me to pass pass them. There's one. How is that doing? Oh, 99%. Beautiful. Uh, what we got over here? I should probably pick up those sticks as well. I do need sticks. Oh, there's another blueberry. Alright, well, I, I'm just going to grab a few more blueberries because I'm, I'm on a roll now. I'm on a freaking roll. KJ48, it's on a roll. By the way, this uh, is supposed to be a deer up here as well. I think in this area. It's supposed to be a deer. You know, a lot of times I'm not looking for the deer. And, like, people have told me that um, I, I would, like, pass deer and didn't even recognize it. So, I'm going to take out my shotgun just in case the bear rolls up on me. Yeah, there's a bear around here somewhere. I'm not out here for the bear, though. So, there he is. No, oh, there you go. And if you want to kill the bear, you get his attention. And you look for some place to run away from him. I don't know exactly where I could go. I could probably go up on this thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could kill him from in here. But that's going to be for another video. Let me get some more uh, blueberries and get back to base. Get those traps set. All right, how are we doing crops? I'm probably checking these crops way too often. It takes time. It takes time. By the way... This game looks so much better with the grass, with certain exceptions. First of all, I mentioned this the other day. The farm, when you till the land, needs to, like, get rid of the grass in the immediate area. Also, I would like to be able to cut the grass in-game. Because I love the grass, but I want to make pathways. How cool would it be, right? How cool would it be if you had the grass like normal, just like it is now, but what you could do is... You could cut little pathways like this, where there'd be no grass. Like grass everywhere, and then you have little pathways going where you want them to go. Maybe even wooden pathways, you know? Something like that would be really, really neat. And, oh man, like, I want that in the worst way. I really, really do. Because I think the, the game looks pretty bad without the grass, obviously. Um, and I don't, I don't feel like I'm doing the, uh, the developer of the game any justice when, I, when I'm playing it without the grass. Because people are watching me play it, and I'm, you know, doing it without the grass. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, you guys know what we're doing now, right? Time to farm the best. All right. So one thing I didn't like about the, what people are telling me to do at night, like, oh, farm the zombies at night. Well, the way you get their attention is to fire off a round. But, like, honestly, I don't want to sacrifice a round. <laughs> like, bullets are the thing I need the most. So also, also, I've got to give my uh, my people a gun. I keep forgetting to do that. Totally forgetting to do that. All right, so what? No zombies? What the hell? Where are the infected at, bro? Scott, where are the infected at, bro? Oh, really? They're asleep through this whole thing with no, with no infected, huh? Oh, here we go. What's up, bro? How's it going? Stabby, stabby. Where are you going? Where are you going, jerk? Hey, jerk ass! Yeah, whatever. He's gonna go in there and beat on the, the NPC survivors that can't be killed. Hey, you coming back? You want some more of this bad medicine? 
Boom! Stabby, stabby in your face. Stabby, stabby, you're gonna die. Wait, face. What rhymes with face? Stabby, stabby in your face. Stabby, stabby, know your place. Give me your loot. Now! Terrible song. Just terrible. Terrible, kids. Just terrible. Alright, well, let's see what kind of loot they got. I'm thinking... Uh, no promises. I reserve the right to change my mind at any given time. But I'm thinking next episode might be about uh, me farming the infected at night. Could be pretty cool. Uh, let's grab this one. Ugh. Hey, what's up, Kate? Close that door before someone goes in there. You know what? I don't need any more damn sugar. I uh, don't need any more bottles, but I will take the electronic circuit. Thank you, electronic circuit. Electronic part. Thank you. Thank you very much. How you doing, Bobby? Yeah, Bobby's not doing too well. He's bugged out the hell. By the way, I moved the uh, traps right on the side over here. Um, you know, you want to move the traps. What's up, Kate? How's it going? You want to move the traps near your base. And I'm going to tell you why. It'll serve two purposes. Not only will it catch you food, but it will get rid of any mice in the area. You know? Uh, I'm not going to loot that trap, though. I'm going I'm to let it sit there because I'm kind of curious. And if I loot it tomorrow, will it uh, will it be taking decay damage if I leave it in the trap? You know. So, we'll definitely hit those tomorrow, though. But they're working, so I'll, I'll probably make a couple more, I guess. Although, I really don't have what I need to bait them. So, should I make more? I don't know. I honestly could not tell you. What do you guys think? Are you using them? Are you using the uh, small animal traps? Are you finding them useful? Uh... I could bait them with stuff I grow in the farm. The problem is the farm's kind of, I don't know, kind of buggy at the moment. You know, with the uh, cr with the plots, you actually have to, you know, till the ground. Although, the other ones are working pretty well. You know, as a matter of fact... As a, oh, this is dark. All right, let's do that in the morning. I don't know how that song goes. You guys ever watch the Smurfs? Who here is an old fart like me? You guys ever watch the Smurfs? You know that, you know that like that sound cue, that musical score they have in the mornings of the Smurfs? I don't know why that 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 just that sound cue just I don't know, it gets to me. Like I don't know why. I guess it reminds me of my childhood, but yeah, whenever I wake up in the morning, it's the first time I think of. Okay, so this one didn't go off. So that's not good. Um you know, but this one did. So, eh. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna make any more. I can't, I can't even bait them like really well. So, and plus this one, the fact that this didn't go off is kind of making me nervous that they might not be working. I don't know. Well, they're definitely working, but how well are they working? That's that's the uh, the million dollar question right there. Um. All right. So what do I want to do next? You know, someone wanted me to make the repair bench. Did I not make the? Re no, I don't think I've made the repair bench. Now, I don't know if I want to make the repair bench. Um, every time I've looked at the repair bench in past in past updates, I mean, I haven't seen it in this update, but I did watch someone else play, and they kind of were saying the same thing I was saying. The cost of, of repairing things is so effing expensive, you're better off making the item again. Okay? I think, it, like, we're going to do the repair bench at some point. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to write that down as soon as I'm done with this episode, because I do want to make the repair bench, but... From what I understand, the, re the, the 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 what it takes to repair the item, like a sledgehammer, you know, um, is basically just the amount, same amount of resources it takes to craft it, plus duct tape. So I'm not, I don't think the repair bench is really that worth it. But I'll probably make it just for the sake of the let's play at some point. Um, what do you guys think? Do you, do you have any? Um, do you guys have any experience with the with the uh, repair bench? Because uh, yeah, I think I need to start, you know, setting up the crafting uh, the crafting base as well. Um, so I think I'm going to put this in the back because it's pretty small. It's probably the smallest thing that will go in here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this back here. And I think I'm going to start moving stuff in here. Um, you know, one more building and the compound is done as far as like the buildings go. So now do I want to center this or put, eh, I think I'm going to center it. Yeah, that's cool. You could like look out the window as you, um, you know, as you use the, the, the buzz saw. You know, cut your freaking hand off because you're not paying attention because you're too busy staring at Kate's butt out the window. But, you know what? It's just uh, it's a chance to take. It's, it's a chance we take sometimes to see a woman's butt. Sometimes we might have to cut our hand off. It's just, just the way it is. So anyway, guys. 
<laughs> on that note, I do think we're going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.